Hi everybody. Um, yeah, today I'm going to uh, basically want to make a recommendation um, for double-edge safety razors. I use one almost on a daily basis. Um, there's a lot of people who would say uh, it doesn't make any sense to buy cartridges uh, because you just throw them out after a couple of days. The amount of money you spend on those is not realistic. And does it give you a better shave? Well, let's get to it then. Um, mine is a three-piece. It uh, basically means the handle, double-edged safety razor. The handle on screws, that's one piece. And if you hold it properly here, you can remove this piece, which is curved in a way that's going to allow the blades to be exposed. For travel, however, if you flip it over, it covers the blades and you can carry it in your pocket. That's why they call it a safety safety edge. Um, the razors come packaged in different ways. Wax paper, uh, special cartridge holders. I um, always hold them by their side. And this one just has a center post to put that in. Um, again, placing this needs to be curved just right so that it allows the edges of those uh, blades to to protrude. Nothing to be too afraid of. You just hold it and screw that on. There, there is such a thing as two-piece, uh, which basically really, <laughs> you unscrew the handle and it has one long screw that goes all the way down through. That's, that's just a two-piece. Um, there's also the, the choices of the ones that are basically the um, what they call the, the twist or the butterfly or safety double edge razor. Um, we'll have a, a rotary thing down the bottom and you'll find this edge here at the very top. There's a split right down the center and the more you turn it, the more you'll see it, it just opens up like a set of doors like this. And then when you screw it back down, same after you put your blade in, you close it up again. Uh, those are really your different types. And um, as far as I'm concerned, it makes no fundamental difference, except that at any given time, you have two sharp blades on your hand. One is going to be sharper than the other. Um, what sold me personally on really wanting to go through with switching to a double-edged razor, um, which I'm glad I did, is something in here clicked. And I realized, well, if I'm going to have two two blades going at the same time with the change I mean, the change of a razor, uh, which is something you can mark on a small monthly calendar if you want to. You use a little acronym like, uh, you know, LRC, last, you know, last um, razor change. You keep track of it that way. You decide one of two. You can actually tell the same way if you do for a razor change just simply by flipping the razor orientation in here. Normally there's no markings on here at all. There's like none. I mean they're they're chrome polished, they're perfect. Um, so what I did, what I eventually learned how to do, just so that I could keep track of which side was being used, like each and every single time I used it for every second that I used it was to make a, uh, knowing that it was chrome, basically using a rasp file to make a permanent mark on the edge so that I knew when I was shaving, if I, you know, just a glance at it and I could tell, well, you know, here's the, the uh, I'm not sure how well you can see that, if at all. Yeah, there's a small, it's just worn straight through the finish with a small rasp file. Glad I did it because each and every time I look and I see that I'm shaving with that, it's this side that I'm using. One day there'll come a day, according to my my uh, little handy dandy little reminder calendar, that it's time to switch to side two of two, which should be razor sharp and never never been used. Um, that sounds kind of gimmicky, but then again. <clears throat> when you get them and they have no marks on them, I mean, you'd probably like to know which side that you really should be using or are using currently. 
you know, so like I said, the day, the day finally comes where you're, you look at your calendar and it says, oh, it's about a month old. I have a fresh, do you, I mean, do you in fact have a fresh, you know, uh, unused razor on the other side? Well, it all depends on how much, if you're going to make a mark on here, um, to actually pay attention to it when you're shaving. And I do. So it's kind of interesting when I, it's when it's time for me to switch. I'll open it up, I'll switch it over, tighten it back down again, and next thing you know, it's, uh, it's an interesting idea. I decided to make a new mark on my calendar. Um, it's the same razor blade, I just sort of side two of two. There's no way that that would confuse me. And it turns out the blades are so cheap anyway, like dirt cheap, it's like going downwards of like five cents per blade. You can change them as often as you like, and it's really not an issue anyway. But these are my preferences when it comes to uh, the blades. <clears throat> um, the other thing I'd like to mention is, uh, you know, like in the back of my video, the um, bristle and uh, soap. Definitely the best way to soften your bristles and to raise them up is to do the, the bristle and soap thing. Uh, there's lots of ways to do it. I've even heard people tell you, you know, hey, even if you don't use a special soap, you can eat, use one of these, uh, you know, a little bit of this in one of those cups. As long as you're using the, the bristle thing, you can basically lather up. Um, you're doing yourself a favor if you do that. And there's a reason. There's a reason for that. Um, there's more to be had on that, you know, on YouTube and other places. And I have no hesitation about agreeing with what I've heard at all. I've definitely tried that method too. Um, well, listen, everybody. Um, I thank you for for your time. I wanted to get that out there. And uh, for a guy that doesn't have to shave as much as I used to, I'm definitely happy to have the opportunity to share what I've learned. I'm not the first person, as I said, to claim that the uh, you know the uh, safety double edge razor is a better shave uh, but it is also a cheaper shave and uh, and there's no really denying the, the benefit of the bristle the bristle brushes either um, there it's it's something you would hear in other places too but I have more than 10 years experience with it so I thought I'd just get that out there and let you know because it, you know all this stuff just cuts down on frustration expense and and uh, you know, it's good technique. So, uh, thank you for listening, and um, I'll see you in my next video, okay? All right. Bye-bye.